Here we are again, day three, Evolutionary TV, 12 Days to Relief. Welcome, friends. I'm your host, Terry Earthwind Nichols and Linda Vetris Nichols. Along with Princess Grace. She's decided Love to stay her. with us every night now. <laughs> so, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for stopping in. So, tonight we're going to ask a question What could happen if your fears came true? Let's review a little bit of what we've talked about so far. You know, fear is, is overwhelming disguise, okay? You don't know what to think about. You don't know how to think about something that's high emotional value. And what does that look like? What can come about from all this stuff? What happens if you really do fall off the cliff? What happens if the person you're trying to reach out for grabs your hand? Now what? These are fear. This is real. This is real emotion. What happens if you don't get fired this morning and you get a promotion? Now what? That's happened to one of our clients. Linda will talk about that in, in just a moment. Uh, Linda, thoughts, opening thoughts? Well, I remember when I was in San Francisco and I was getting ready to go down to the wharf alone and I was like counting out the bus money and putting it inside my clothes and um, just doing all this prep work and, and my roommates were like, like, are you nervous? Are you afraid? And like, no, I'm just preparing to enjoy myself, <laughs> right? That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about fear and what is the worst case scenario. That's how you can quelch the fear. So, you know, if you're, like you were mentioning, afraid of losing your job, okay, then what would happen if you lost your job, right? And I think immediately it's like, oh, I'll starve, you know, like, would you really? You know, is there a food shelf by you? It, just listing out what would happen can actually get you in preparation to be ready if it actually did happen and to have enough in savings or whatever. I remember um, neighbors who had like a year's worth of savings because the husband's job was kind of sketchy and he could lose that at any time. So they like walked into that job knowing that they had to be well prepared just in case, right? Yes. Mm. Another good scenario is for people with PTS. We don't talk about D here because post-traumatic stress is not disorder in our research. It's a behavior. We'll talk about that. Behaviors can be modified. PTS can be very striking. In our uh, one of our giveaways on our website, evolutionaryhealer.com, see our process page, uh, talks uh, about an amazing woman, veteran, combat veteran, was outside her house 15 years after her service yeah. with a gun in her hand. Search and seizure. In her pink mode. pajamas in her pink pajamas her daughter comes out she's home visiting daughter comes outside mom what are you doing she looks at her daughter and she says what are you doing here she says mom what are you doing out here in your pink pajamas in the backyard with your rifle and then she woke up and she became aware true fear her scenario was they're going door-to-door -door searches Again, she was in a cold sweat. What was the next door going to open? Is she going to get shot? What happens if she gets shot? Is she going to die? Is she going to see her daughter again? None of that's true. None of it's true. Because she's in the backyard of her house in the United States of America with a loaded rifle. At the ready, for those of you who are combat veterans or trained in weapons, at the ready. There's no safety. Okay? 
what would happen if she turned around shot and killed her daughter before she realized where she was at and what she was doing that was five years ago now i believe we took her through the cr process she's never had any of those issues since none she before the cr process she could not look in the eye of the person in front of her for more than a split second before she'd have to look away she could not maintain any type of contact with another human being including her daughter and the rest of her family well her daughter said mom you're the you look like the same mom but you're not the same mom until she got help until she got out mm -hmm. This is a consistent question and answer process that we do right here on the internet like we're doing right now. You're watching us, we would be watching you as well as a certified practitioner. Now we have 40 plus uh, practitioners all over the world, 12 countries. We won't go into that right now. But we're talking about fear and what happens if it comes true. So what is a scenario that where your fear could actually come true? And what you get you fired. Do? What would you do? Are you going to be homeless by lunch? Probably not. Is there 50 people in your phone, seriously, in your phone that you could call right away to get immediate assistance in some regard? There's, hey, I'll tell you a really good one, 211.org. Almost every state you plug in, 211 dial, enter, on your phone, you're talking to a United Way volunteer, and if you, for veterans, start the conversation by saying, I'm a vet, I'd like to talk to a veteran, you will be instantly connected with a veteran in your state who knows everything about veteran services. 211.org on the internet. That's just one place. You can also look up the CR process. Google it, any kind of search engine you want. The CR process is copyrighted. It is part of repetitive behavior, cellular regression, which is trademarked, okay? We do this every day, 24 hours a day. In fact, I, as the original creator and now my co-development uh, partner here, we have been in a CR session in every clockable hour of a 24 hour day in the last six years. There isn't any nine to five jobs here. We're open 24 hours. Our people are all over the world in 14 time zones. Okay, 14 time zones. We can pretty well cover the phones, so to speak, at the, at the call center. Call center, you can contact us on, on the website. Or right here at Evolutionary Healer page on the Facebook. Okay. So let's let's end tonight, because we're clear out to eight and a half minutes. Let's end tonight with let's stop the fear. Let's stop wondering if something's going to happen at the end of the fear. Come and talk to Evolutionary Healer. Come and talk to us. Say hi to Linda and I. Let us help you. Thanks for coming tonight. This is day three, and we're going to 12, January 2nd. This is the toughest time of year for suicides. That's why we're going 12 straight days, including Christmas night and New Year's Eve. Okay? See you soon.